Oh, hello there. Get everything set up. Um, we're going to play some Studies in Sorcery. This is a game that's on Kickstarter right now and is in its final hours. I believe there are three hours left right now. Uh, and to uh, it's all funded. It's great. Uh, there's a thousand people who are already going to get this game, and I'm super excited about that. Uh, I was trying to think of what I could do to, you know, commemorate and close this thing out, and I figured I'm just going to play. I'm going to play a whole bunch. Uh, so that's that's the extent of my plan. Um, I've got this set up. This is the game with uh, the playmat. Uh, this is the prototype playmat, uh, but this is the playmat included. Uh, I've got the School of Divination, which is the expansion shuffled in here. Everything you see is prototype components, because obviously we're still getting funding and going to get it printed for real, but uh, this kind of gives you an idea. So I'm going to play some solo games, because uh, it's just me here. Um, and we'll get that started in a moment. I poured myself uh, a drink in this awesome skull cup. This is actually my partner's uh, mug. Um, hopefully she's okay with me using this. I got some sparkling cider in here. It seemed it seemed right. I got some. I'm surrounded by pumpkins that I'm gonna carve into jack o' lanterns here soon. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna play play some games. So I think I got everything set up. Cheers. All right, let's make sure I've got the stream set up and good. Appears to be working. That's good. And I'll add, set this up. You can chat with me if you like. I'll maybe see it. I'll probably see it. I've got it up here. It should be visible. Um, and let's get going. Okay, so game set up. Market's ready. I'll probably put my projects over here and under here. Uh, it's always a uh, struggle to figure out how much to... Um, how much to include in frame and how, how zoomed in to be. But here you can see the play map pretty well uh, and everything else. Let's see, I could probably move this just a smidge that way. So you can see more of my drink. No, because that gives me more space. I'll fill that with projects. And I'm, I'm not kidding, I got, I got gourds and pumpkins here. We'll just, yeah, we'll put those in frame, why not? Pumpkin. All right, um, first thing that we need to do is select our uh, starting project and our thesis. So our thesis choices this time are Inherit the Earth. Uh, I need a, to complete four projects that require some worms in them. Or Sophomore Slump, complete no more than two 200-level projects. So basically have a really strong first year and third year, but you know nothing in between. Uh, or not much. Got to be very tactical. I'm actually leaning towards that because it did I do that one recently? I mean, I love getting lost things with worms. We're going to try the sophomore slump. So that's what I'm going to choose for my thesis card. So we'll go back to the box. Uh, and then my starting project to choose here. Uh, we have Confusing Concoction, which is a potion that allows me just an influx of cards. We got Doom, which is a divination project that when completed is going to put a whole bunch of cards into, uh, into the grave piles. Um, let's see. What are we looking to do here? We've got the market. Now, part of why I'm feeling the sophomore slump is we have Precognition, another divination project. This one allows me to buy cards off the top of the project decks, as in my market just got bigger if I did that. That really works well with my sophomore slump, so I really want to get that. Um, but neither of these cards particularly help me out with that. Uh, Hero's Journey is a good one to pick up early. I'm going to be starved for stock items so potion or prosperity would also be good oh man there's so many things that i want to get and neither of these are going to help me get them um let's stick with the divination project it's worth the same amount of points they're very similar but they get a kind of a different way of using this one's giving me more card selection uh so let's do that let's go now again all right, um, so I think there we got it. We got a thesis, we have a starting project. Uh, we're ready to go. Uh, I'm using these because they show up well in the stream, these little uh, you know, white circles. Uh, these components, whatever they are, will be changed. We actually unlock the ability to make them a little nicer as a stretch goal, which is great. Um, but those will do. We're in the first week of the first month of school, and we're ready to get rolling. Um, I like these projects so much that I'm tempted to just go get them right away. However, I like them so much I want multiple ones. Uh, so I'd like to get some money to go buy more projects. 
The only danger there is that we're going to play against, since this is solo, a robot player, which is going to mess with the state of the game uh, as we go. Uh, and so they could mess up my plans on the first turn. I mean, I can I can adapt. I can find new plans. It's early on. But I'm a little worried about that. If the projects were essential to my strategy, I would, um, well, I'd need to do that. Um, but I think I can risk it. It's very unlikely that they're going to take precognition is the one I don't want to miss. But if I miss it, I miss it. All right. So instead of spending my research grant here right away, I'm going to go digging, mainly just looking for dollars here. Frankly, on two cards, four dollars, that's just what I've got here. That's great. I think that's good. Uh, I'm probably not, I'm unlikely to get better than that. Uh, I could use the cards for Doom if I wanted to. That's probably not what we're doing. I'm going to go on a big shopping spree. That's my plan. So I'm just going to take these. Now we uh, try the robot player. Now robot player, that goes right in the discard. Uh, where's the, where's my robot thing? Um, so I'm playing with the play mat. Uh, if you didn't have the play mat, you'd, you'd use these uh, cards uh, to set up your moon track, um, which uh, works perfectly well. Uh, for those who have asked, uh, most of the development of this game has happened without the play mat, but now that I have it, I just want it. Uh, I like it so much better. Uh, but the this is, it creates a nice, you know, Portable setup, it, it, it works fine. Uh, but one thing I have here is a rules render card that on one side tells you how much of each of uh, the different uh, grave cards are in there. I think I have autofocus turned off so you can see this better. Or at least it's more stable to shakes and whatnot. So, meh. Uh, but on the other side, it tells you uh, a mapping of icons uh, to actions for the solo mode. So in this case, uh, we're getting the, the hand limbs action, which means the robot player is going to take the left deck. Um, that's the last time I'll probably build this out to look at it, because, spoiler, I have this memorized. Uh, it's pretty easy to memorize, uh, and it's actually uh, going... It's already reinforced by some stuff in the playmat, and it'll be even more when I'm done uh, designing that. So, that's the robot player. We go to committing. Now, I could commit these bones here, but that's not my plan. My plan is to go shopping, so we'll pass on that. We go right into the second week. All right, here we go. We buy now, right? That's what we do? Okay. Let's see how much stuff I want, because it's so much. Precognition. Yes. Uh, it needs some stock materials. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to make a proposal, and we'll see if I can do it. One vial and potion prosperity. Hero's journey. Don't have the candle. Precognition. Don't have the candle or the vial. That's uh, seven right there. I have nine to spend, so I can get one more. Um, why this? This enables me to get, uh, I'm planning on completing the Potion of Prosperity to fuel the others. Um, I got two left, so I'm actually going to buy these candles. Um, this sets me up for like three projects. Oh, I'm also going to need one for, that's fine if I grab the candle. This, this is like everything I need stock-wise to complete four projects, counting Doom. And, uh, then I'll be able to start pulling in other stuff, and it, it's going to be great. Uh, this is like a go wide right out the gate. I am, I might be stretching myself too thin. We'll see how it works out. Um, need to keep my thesis in mind, which is I'm not doing two, uh, more than two, uh, two interlevel projects, which I'm fine on so far. Okay, so we added a whole bunch of stuff here. It's mostly off camera, I realize. It's what it is. Uh, and I got these in my hand. Sure, I can show it on there, which means my drink can go also in my hand. I mean, the skull is so awesome, I want it to, like, show there, but no. Here, with this pumpkin, where that project, where that used to be. All right. That's it for our action. Robot's still going to go. Uh, they're taking... The right nose pile, which I know because there's a little skull in the uh, art there. That's intentional. I'm going to make it more prominent. Okay, uh, we can commit some cards now. Now we are going to start doing that. I would definitely want one on Potion of Prosperity. Uh, and I think Hero's Journey should be the other one. I mean, Precognition, I want to get online as soon as possible, but I won't get the Vile until I get Potion of Prosperity. Uh, I think that's going to be fun. Okay. 
All right, what do these cards all do? I haven't been, I've been playing so many games, I don't even talk about what they do. Uh, Potion Prosperity gives me stock cards, as in candles and vials when it completes. Hero's Journey is going to give me projects from the market when it completes. And Precognition, like we talked about, lets me buy off the top. And Doom is just sitting here, squashed by a pumpkin. All right, uh, that was my commits. We're on to week three, and we're digging now. We're finally going to dig for real, actually looking for materials. Let's do this. All right, how do we feel about uh, Mushroom and Limbs? I'm not excited about this, but I'm also not disappointed in it. Um, both of them work for Potion of Prosperity, which is our, our top target. Uh, it, it's fine. I, I, we need so many things that I'm betting that the three cards here are going to be better. Let's see if I'm right. Not really better, but different. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'll take it. Okay, so taking three cards. I'll try and lay these out down here. You don't need to see my thesis. There we go. Uh, and how about the robot? Robot is going to take the bottom row of the market. Put that in their little score pile. Um, all right. New stuff comes out. What do we got? Heroes Journey, Veil of Darkness, and Surrender to Fate. Uh, that's a fun one. Uh, time to commit some cards. Definitely working that Potion of Prosperity. I'm actually tempted to rush this, but I won't. I might. Might I? Because if I don't, I'm not using my maximum commits. Uh, by rush it, I mean uh, these uh, alchemy projects has this effect if you uh, commit too many materials to them. Oh, I got my little bin of tokens over here. Um, they get negative negative markers on it. Ooh, it's actually it might be correct to do that because I'm I, I need to maximize my commits. I need to get my engine going. I am going to put the mushroom in as well. So because I committed more than one material to it in a single turn, get a demerit. I think it's gonna be worth it. All right, that's it for commits. We move on to week four. I'm digging again. I'm taking this pile almost as certainly. I liked it before. It's got the bone that I need and added on some mushrooms. I was worried about not having enough mushrooms, but now I'm not. All right. In retrospect, no, I think it's still correct. All right. Uh, robot. Taking the middle pile. And let's commit. So we're going to put some bones into our potion, which is going to be completing in a moment. I'm like reaching underneath this pumpkin is creating things all wacky. Uh, and then we're going to put... All right, pumpkin, you're in the way. Mushroom on doom. We now complete projects. So this potion of prosperity, when completed, it's going to take three stock, stock cards for free. So, bam, it's done. I'll put it over here. Right about there. Keep this demerit on it. Anything I use to complete it goes in the discard. And now we grab everything we need. We need a candle, a vial, and a vial. Bam. Good tempo card, the Potion of Prosperity. That's usually how I use it. All right, we've reached the end of the uh, first month. That's, that's one quarter through the game. So we move forward. We lose some projects. I um, love how well they slide on the mat. More 200 level projects. Now keep in mind, we only can complete two of these and still complete our thesis, and we have one of them picked out. So let's be careful here. Uh, and the final step, we add one card to each pile. All right, let's make sure everything's healthy here. Bingo. All right. So we start again. Now I know I'm gonna be able to complete precognition this turn. Um, and I got Hero's Journey that I can potentially combo that with. I think we just need to dig because we're gonna get our projects naturally through Hero's Journey as long as I find a bone, which seems like a pretty low bar. Uh, this is diverse and I like diverse when I'm not exactly sure what it is I'm doing. Um, it's got good money value, uh, an extra bone, which I do need a bone. Yeah, taking it. Seems fine. Robot is taking the largest pile. I 
Okay, let's commit cards. Our plan here is precognition. I'm just going to commit it and complete it out of hand. So with that done, let's put our stock materials back. Uh, I'm now able to buy cards from the uh, top of the project deck as if they were in the market. Now that's pretty powerful for a couple of reasons. One, I just get three more options. Two, I can buy 300 level projects early. So I plan on exploiting that pretty hard because um, normally those wouldn't have come up by now. All right, so we're gonna move on to week two. What are we doing? I don't think I'm cramming, which is to uh, commit more aggressively. It's not a lot to dig through. But I don't plan on buying because I'm going to do Hero's Journey. So let's just dig, see if we can add a little bit more, make it clear what we should go for. Got some worms and some valuables. Nice canopic jar and urn. It's not really what I'm looking for something a little more exciting. There's nothing wrong with that, but I want a little bit more. Now this, ironically for one card, excites me more. And the reason is... This is what I like to call the premium bones. Uh, it's got an extra credit marker that comes with it. And frankly, getting a point is pretty good. Uh, and it's not too hard to find something that uh, this, this hand would be used for. Unfortunately, it's one card. It's unlikely the robot. I'm just going to hide that for my future self. I'm not going to let anyone know it was there, except for, I mean, everyone that just heard what I said. Uh, and I'm going to plan on going back for it. Okay, again, this is fine. I want to pass again. So when you pass on all the piles, what happens? So you have a choice. You can take the top card of the deck randomly, which you know maybe I would do. Uh, or you can take a free stock card. I'm going to take a free stock card because I am going to need them. I'm going to be completing Hero's Journey and taking some projects for free, and so I'm going to want something to complete them. I'm probably going after that Bone Naga, and I'm probably using this candle to do it. That's at least my my plan. If not that, one of these. Hard to say. Man, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that I'd like to do here. Oh, it's how it is. All right, uh, let's call that done. Robot. Ooh. A now a would be a rib card, but it's actually a plus one card. So goodbye, alchemical accurate potions. I did think about you. I would love a way to increase my rate of commits, and that is a way to do it. It's generally a helpful thing to do. Oh well. All right. Uh, now we can commit. Uh, we're going to complete Hero's Journey now. Hmm. I think so. I'm thinking. It's choices here. Um, but Bone Naga is very point dense and great. Uh. We're not going to see any changes in the markup anytime soon if we don't do this. So yeah, I think let's just do it. Let's finish it. All right, so one bone here, and uh, that piles for doom. So that's our two commits, and I want something to accelerate that. Uh, then we'll complete or complete Hero's Journey, in which case we take two projects from the market, uh, add a plus one to one of them, an extra credit, and a minus one demerit to another. So we're taking the bone daga. And that'll get our plus one, because come on, we want to do that. Um, and then we need another one. Soul Cage is real good. Yeah. Yeah, let's get it. it means I'm going to need so many ribs. Ooh, but that means that's my... my second and final 200 level project. Ugh, it's a really good one though. Okay, uh, those are complete. We on to move week three. I'm gonna dig, I'm gonna get that hand back, which I don't actually need for my projects, but one day, I believe that one day I will. So let's dig. Uh, worms and jars is fun. I'm not, I don't have any worm golems going here as much as I would like to. Worm golems fun. I'm gonna pass and, wow, this pile just, it's it's not it's not exciting. Can I can I afford to keep hiding this here? This is not going to work indefinitely, but I'm going to do it because uh, I thought I remember seeing something I liked here. No, I didn't. Why did I do that? And now I got all these mushrooms that I don't know what to do with. 
like like a lot of mushrooms, like a lot, a lot of mushrooms. It's kind of a problem. Uh, but I would rather take. Oh man, that was just like a terrible mistake. What was? What is wrong with me? All right, fine, I'll take it. How about you, robot? You are going to take the bottom pile again. Oh. You are messing with my stuff. This is what I actually want, is this reanimation project. That's that's exactly what we need here. Uh, it gives you extra commits every turn, which I love. That's not going to be it, is it? All right. I mean, I could not complete Soul Cage, but that seems like a waste. All right, speaking of commit. Yeah, Soul Cage, I'm on it. I'm on it. One card for you. One card for you. All right. Nothing completing. Here we are. Week four of month two. Let's dig. It seems like a shame. I got all these mushrooms and I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. But maybe we'll get a fungal animate in the, the third round. Hey, this is the one thing that can talk me off that middle pile, which is the Okapi skull right there. Strange herbivore. It's a head with a plus one, also worth a lot of money. Yeah, I'm fine with this, even though I don't need anything else in there. Wow, I really don't. But I like that card. I just like it. Robot, you're taking this pile. Ooh, for a minute there, I thought it was taking the middle. But no, not happening. All right, let's commit. Um, I am going to do a little work on Doom. It's just a bone. Hand bone. Um, and a little work on our bone naga. Well, I don't I won't have a candle for that until I go shopping, but I will. Alright, and that warrants an extra credit because it's a sweet bone. Alright. Nothing completing. We are halfway through the game. Done with month two. Slide those down, and now these come down for real, the 300 level projects. Mm, some thinking to do, and a little cider. All right, all right, people. What are we gonna do here? Um, this pile's amazing, and I want it. Uh, that crown of calculation with my bone dog that I started would be great. I would like to have it. Um, because what that does is double the point value of one of my reanimation projects, like this bone naga, which is fantastic. Uh, which is already a very high plus value on it. It's got two, thanks to my um, hero's journey. I like so many things i could and probably should go shopping but i also know that i don't have anything to commit here that's a problem i think i'm gonna go digging although i'd really like to go shopping so let's dig this is fine but that middle pile is better and i know it's better because i've seen it what twice twice i passed on that maybe three times all right here it is it's up to five cards Man, it really just stinks with those worms. But ribs, which we need a lot, both given Soul Cage and the Bone Naga. Um, the plus one hand that I, I, I want so badly. Uh, and then just some bonus stuff. So yeah, we'll take it. We are taking it. Look at this hand that I've got splayed out down here. It's nuts. I need, I need extra commits real bad. All right, robot. You're just going to take that big pile. Yeah, of course you are. Okay, let's commit. Uh, let's finish Soul Cage right now. Um, and work a little bit on... Now I don't want to put my hand bone into Doom. Oh, ha. Now you can choose the order in which you complete projects. And I'll show you why that matters. So first we commit, then we complete. And when you complete, you go through, and if any of them can be completed, you can complete them. So Soul Cage is when I complete a project, not including this one, can return one of the committed non-stock cards to your hand instead of discarding it. So, doesn't happen for that card. But now that that's online, we'll put it into our set of abilities down here. 
uh, I can complete Doom. And when I complete Doom, because Soul Cage is now online, I can keep that bird wing, that avian remains. Sweet. That worked out well. And when completed, deal two cards to each grave pile. My oh my. Loving it. Okay. It's our action. I got nothing but cards and nothing to commit. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I think I need to go buy stuff now. Uh, it's time. I put it off way too long. I want that crown of calculation. I would love a way to help me get these ribs. So that's a thing. I have to be mindful of how many uh, 200 level projects I do. And I kind of want to do Tidings of Triumph just because I can. Uh, up note, I could grab Crawling Claw. So I actually can go back and get 100 level projects, even though I normally couldn't. So having Crawling Claw is not a bad idea. Okay, uh, what we're going to need is candles. I want to get Tidings of Triumph. And I want Crown of Calculation. That's already 10. That's 10 bucks right there. Ooh. Um, I do need to keep a ring, so don't let me spend all these. Uh, I don't need all of these mushrooms. That's 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Throw that crawling claw in. And 12, 13. <laughs> Grab the candles. This is a big buy. That's what you want to do when you have a whole bunch of stuff. Man, I wish there was something that just needed a whole bunch of worms that wasn't distilling draw because I'm trying to get my thesis. How much is that thesis worth? Seven points. Yeah, this is why it's worth seven points because it's hard to not do that. Okay. Um, I'll find a use for them later. This will do. Okay. New projects. Gimme. Um, and let me tidy my work area a little bit here because as I'm completing projects that don't matter as much, I can move them off to the side where you don't need to see them. Open up a little more play space. Okay. Cool. Are we good? I think we're good. Four projects working. Still got a hand of worms. Uh, we're looking okay. Refill the market. Do the robot. That sounds like a dance move. Why did these keep getting dropped for the robot and not for me when I'm digging? That's what I would like to have happen. Oh, robot. Okay, commits. What are we doing here? Uh, crown of Calculation for sure is part of our jam. Let's put the two materials we know are going into it right now so we don't forget that we're doing it. So it will get a plus one point because he is the fancy bone. Hmm. Hold, please. No, crowd calculation is going to go last because this t we're going to remember that we have soul cage, and so we want to keep reusing this plus one bone. I mean, we can't can't plus. One. Well, we can crawling. Claw okay, hold on. Slow down my thought process. I do want to reuse that for crawling claw, but I'm not there yet. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to plan on getting bones, finishing that refunding the card. I got a plan. It's great. I just can't do it yet. Running out of time. Always running out of time. Let's go dig. You know what I need is a lot of bones, and you know what this is? It's a lot of bones. Sometimes you need simple things. Uh, robot, what are you doing? You are going to take that top row. Oh man, I wanted that lunar eclipse. The triple worms. Just what I need, alas. Not to be. Okay, polymorph, plague, and flame skull. All right, all right. Let's commit some cards, yeah? So, what we're going to do, man, this is risky, but I just, I love it. I didn't talk about what Tidings of Triumph did. Uh, but you're going to see it right now because I'm completing it. Choose and reveal a grave pile. Commit any number of cards from that pile to your projects. Discard the rest. And then deal one card to that pile. So we are going to see what's in this pile. These cards I can commit from here right now. Uh, also a soul cage. I'll be able to keep this. Uh, to my projects. Now I wish I hadn't already put the thing on the crown of calculation all of a sudden. But I uh, could just do this rib here on the bone naga. 
and this bone on the crown of calculation can't commit the rest so they get discarded still got two free cards committed out of that I feel good about that uh, and then reset the pile oh that's sweet that worked out great Thanks, Tidings of Triumph. Oh, I've renamed that one, though, with the uh, new art to Throw the Bones. Got some bone dice that I drew that look really nice there. The divination cards I have uh, printed up here don't have the, art, the right art. Um, but, of course, there'll be final art in the final thing. We're on to week four of month three. I really don't want to dig when there's one card on each pile. Uh, may I commit... I, I mean, I could one card, but that doesn't really help me. What am I lacking? Hmm. I don't want to dig. All right, so what I don't need also is all of these worms and mushrooms. They're not doing anything for me. Ooh, do we want to shoot the moon? Do we want to go abomination? Oh, there's actually a worm golem. Oh, there's a worm golem. That's actually a very nicely timed worm golem. That may be exactly what I need. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to go get that. Why am I so excited for worm golem? It's a 100 level project, you say. Because this ability is sweet. Uh, one, it just wants a lot of worms to build. Well, and some candles. And two, you get to take up to two bone cards from the discard. This discard is like full of stuff that I want. This worm golem is actually... a very nice pick right now. So I'm going to grab it and the candle it wrote in on. Uh, that's going to cost me four. I will spend some mushrooms and some bones. I don't need all these worms. <laughs> I can keep keep some of this. Uh, we'll use one of the worms. Two of the worms. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Two worms and a mushroom. Okay, anything else we want to buy while we're there? Abomination for one. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I do. I can I do a Bonaga and Abomination. I've got time. I've got time. All right. Also Abomination. Um, let's make sure we got what we got. Uh, I'm gonna need one, two, three, four candles. I got only one. Do I get rid of too many worms? Ah. I need those worms. Ugh, I am short a candle. And that is unfortunate because I can't make change enough to do it. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's all going to work out. All right. So we did our buy action. That was kind of a crazy one because we only bought off the project X yeah, using uh, um, precognition to do that. Um, and the robot player doesn't really have any good choices. So yeah, sure. Take the leftmost pile. See if I care. One card. Well, I don't care what you got. Uh, and let's do some commits, right? Okay, so plan is Worm Golem as soon as possible. So let's, let's put those in. Abomination will save for later. Pumpkin will make room for everything else. I know you're thematic, but you're also in the way. All right, that's all we can do. Let's get there. Last month of school. What could happen? All we need is everything. Phylactery comes out. The second Bone Naga in the deck comes out. And Cider. Oh, 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 oh. Deal off the cards. Don't want to shortchange myself. And some Cider. Okay, I'm debating cramming, but I think not. The reason I would cram is that I can complete Worm Golem and get something else lined up. No, I think I can afford, I haven't checked how many commits I need. I may be cramming a lot after this, but we got time to figure it out. We got time. Okay, I'm going to dig. I'm just looking for bone stuff. I do need skulls. I mean, two skulls. Can we do better? I kind of just need two bones. <laughs> it kind of doesn't matter which ones. All right, let's go for it. Let's keep going. Nothing wrong with that pile. I may regret it. Mainly just because I'll need the skulls. 
Um, that's literally two bones. That's, that's, that is the upgrade I was looking for. Thank you. Taking it. Goodbye. Uh, the robot player is messing with the market. Taking stuff that we're not looking for because we kind of bit off a lot here uh, with some aggressive reanimation late game. And frankly, my engine did not get built up a lot. Um, actually, really at all. Just Soul Cage. That's the only ability that we got. So this is aggressive, what I'm doing here. Let's commit. Worm Golem for sure. I would like to know that Chrono Calculation is done, but it's not hard. It just needs a bone. Abomination we need to get going on. Bone Naga we've kind of already committed to, so we should get it done. So I'm going to, and actually our strategies get it done, because that's how Soul Cage is going to pay off. Okay, let's complete some projects. Completing Worm Golem. Get to keep one card because of the Soul Cage. Sadly, it's a worm. And your delightful, squishy mass. So we're going to take two cards from the discard. Add this to our friends pile. Okay, I am looking for plus one as an extra credit bone cards. I would love specifically a plus one uh, rib card. That's my top pick. I have almost the whole deck, minus what the robot players pulled out of the game, um, to look through here and whatever's you know on the board. Whew, there it is. Okay, that's the card I want more than anything. What's my second pick? I probably should have said that before I looked through it. Uh, any other plus one card that's a bone, actually. Anything. Abomination needs all of them. Really, you're just going to not... I think there's none in there. Ooh. That means they probably are in the robot's hands, or they could have been pulled out. All right, what are we going to need the most? Um, I'm going to be able to get this card back, or the skull is in there, right? Yeah. Uh, with my soul cage, I only need one rib for abomination, and I probably can get it by the end. I'm going to need a lot of hands. I have a lot of hands. Do I pull out a skull? No, I'm playing in... Riding the skull. Okay, we're planning on taking the skull out, which means I should grab ribs. Okay. Woo. Isn't that a decision? All right, that's all part of the complete step. Um, I got nothing else that's being completed. We're on action two, uh, week two, and I think this is where we start cramming. Because we need to get through this fast and efficiently. And we'll need extra commits because we're now six naturally, two for each uh, week. And I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have to be cramming at least two of these months, ten of them, including current calculation, which I should. So let's cram. So uh, use the normal rib cage for some reason, the bone naga, just because I want to be able to use this one, the abomination, because current calculation will make it higher. Whew. That is the question. Am I betting on myself or not? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think I should bet on myself. And um, let's finish off kind of calculation. So yeah, we're going to be completing two projects here. So triggering Soul Cage twice. Let's complete after the robot has their say. Their say is please give me more projects. There's a lot of projects they've taken. I haven't counted, but it's like most of them. They're hungry. All right. Uh, let's complete some projects. So, crown of calculation. We can finish that first. Doesn't matter. Uh, we get to keep a card. I'm going to keep a stupid limbs. Cause I, I don't think... I don't know if I'll have all the limbs I need. So this means at the end of the game, one of my reanimation projects will be counted twice. Um, it's technically ability. We'll slip it over there. Bone Naga is being completed for seven points, which means my counter calculation is also worth seven points. Uh, and we're going to keep uh, the strange herbivore skull. Did I skip my actual commits? I did my <laughs> I did my cram, but I forgot to do my actual commits. Okay, it would have been uh, one of the skulls and one of the things over here. Like, wait a second. Yeah, so excited. I don't need to shortchange myself. All right, that's done. So we know that we need to be very optimal. Oh, Naga, get out of here. I'm like, why, what is this project over here that I need? 
I need to do. I don't need to do it. I already did it. Okay. Uh, we know we need to cram one more time, but we don't need to cram two more times. Is that correct? Let's double check. Uh, two of those down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So if we're not planning on doing the claw, then we uh, only need one of these to be a cram. What are we missing? We got two skulls. We got ribs. We got three hands. Literally all we need is, is, is limbs. So we should go digging for that. If we don't get it, <laughs> if we don't get it, we're real sad. Um, and that's about, the, that's, that's what I have to say about that. We'll be sad. So, ooh, I don't like it being that tight, but that's, this is what happens when you shoot for the really, really crazy stuff. None of those are limbs, right? It was bone, not what we need. I didn't realize how, how close I was. Making me nervous. Is this what we want? No, it's a mushroom. That's not even a bone. Is this the one you're looking for? It is. It is right there. That is what we need. Taking it. Oh my goodness. That's that's great. That means we. this is going to be a very high score, by the way. I don't know how much, but it's going to be high. Because a doubled abomination with uh, three extra credit markers on it is it's kind of a, it's kind of a big deal. All right, let's put out this gray pile. There we go. Let's commit. How about I give it its second head and give it its midsection? Both of those are extra credits. So that one's building up, and nothing's completing. We are going to cram this turn, giving it two of its sets of limbs. This thing is just absorbing everything. After my action, the robot goes. They take the middle pile. And then I will commit the last two limbs. This is the hardest card to complete in the game. And we got it. We got it. Oh, and one of these sets of limbs, by the way, was the extra credit one. So let's complete it. Ooh. An abomination consists of two skulls. There we go. And some candles. Set of ribs. Some fancy ones. And all the limbs in the world. There they are. One of them is extra credit. So that's going to finish off this 13-point abomination. A worthy uh, receiver of the crown of calculation. Whew, that was tight, but that worked out well. I got two cards in my hand that are not going to be worth the point. Crawling Claw, which uh, did not end up happening. I was going to be into it, but it didn't happen. Uh, and we are ready to count up our score. Uh, I'm going to clear the board here. Um, and we will check this out. So, how do we do? I already know these aren't worth any points, so I'm going to get rid of them. Goodbye, Crawling Claw. Uh, and we can take these magnificent stacks, set them aside. There we go. Um, so, to start with, it's like a procession here. Uh, 13 point abomination and a seven point bone naga right there. Those two alone, 20 points. Um, we have some projects here that uh, these will have art, like I was talking about. The divination projects don't have their art on them yet, but some divination projects here for seven points. Uh, let's get that up to ten by adding precognition and soul cage. Those were our, basically our only two engine cards that we really leaned into. Uh, we had the one-time effect from this potion of prosperity for two points. Worm golem for two. That's six, and crown of calculation is going to be another 13. Sophomore slump. So we completed our thesis card successfully for seven. So that right there is 13 plus seven. That's 20. That's 20. That's 40. 54 points. That's a good score. That's definitely a material. That's fantastic. Feel good about that. Wow, that was tight on that abomination. I literally needed to draw the limb. 
let's walk through what would happen if that didn't happen. That would be, well, 13 points less there, and because of the difference, another six less there. So it would be a 19-point swing on me drawing that limb. So I, I think you can you can understand that that was that was that was close. Uh, but with that, a fantastic score. Um, now uh, I can count all these all up uh, and uh, find out how the robot did, including what their projects over there. Uh, but I'm going to take a break and come back and do another game later. I'll do that in between. All right. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. I'll probably do this as a different video because I think that's easier than just one like a marathon stream. I like being able to jump into individual uh, projects. So I'll reset up and I'll be up here in a bit. If you are subscribed on uh, on my YouTubes, then I think that just shows up. Anyway, see you in a bit.